Well, welcome to Waters and Stanton. I want to talk about masthead preamps. These are used on VHF and UHF to improve reception on these bands. Now our test setup here is a 10 over 10 2 metre array and I'm tuned into the Dutch beacon on 144415 or thereabouts. It's a signal that we get quite strongly so it's uh, an easy one to demonstrate. Now in the background if I turn the volume up here on this uh, 910 you can hear the beacon. It's the Dutch beacon. A bit of QSB on the band. I've turned the antenna away so that we don't get too strong a signal but I think you'll, you'll hear that okay. Now what I'm going to do in a minute is turn the masthead preamp off. So I'm going to now turn the masthead preamp off. I can just hear the signal in the background, but I doubt that you can. I'll turn it back on again. There we are. It's um. It's moving the S meter, but uh, and it's certainly certainly uh, what I would say is an S six signal. I'm going to turn it off again now. There's the masthead preamp off. I can't hear a trace of that signal now. And there we are, the masthead back on. Why am I losing so much signal? Well, I'm using Westflex 103, which is reckoned to be pretty good coax for two meters, but I am running about 150 foot of it. And that explains why the difference Turn that down a bit. Now while I can recover the receive signal, I'm also losing the same amount on transmit, and on transmit I can't recover that signal. So it does demonstrate, I hope, that the loss on Kite's cable at VHF and UHF can be very important. And to demonstrate that, really, is to switch the preamp on and off. And that's the difference in transmitted signal. And as I say, I can recover that on receive by putting the master preamp um, on, on the mast. But I can't recover that signal on transmit. Most masthead preamps have the ability to be powered up the coax cable. In other words, you feed DC up the coax cable, which is very convenient. And uh, some rigs, particularly the Icon rigs, like the 910H and the 9100, they already have, uh, although pre-configured, so they can feed DC up the coax to power a uh, master preamp. So let's just do this test once again. I'm now going to turn the master preamp off. No signal. Master print back on. Now you just imagine the difference in transmit if you use lower loss coax. And that's something we're going to have to do here. Use a lower loss coax in order to not lose too much signal. There's quite a few dB of loss of, of, of loss there on that coax cable run. So, master preamps. That's the reason we use them.